For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Part two, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Part two log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. Part 2 log, entry 36. We're now entering area 16, sector 83. We're searching for three children who have mysterious powers. Some time ago, they disappeared from their village. Our mission is to find them and to bring them home. Do you think it's one? one of the kids we're looking for? Please try to hear me, somebody. My friends, Bina and Caleb, are with me. That's them. Caleb, Bina, and uh, Aaron. No, fine, little boy. He's not here, Adam. He's out there somewhere. Communicating by mental telepathy. Sending a message with his mind. That's the way his people talk. I'm going up in the dome and see if you can find something. I don't hear him anymore. Me neither do I. Oh, you are, Baron. Your mother and father can't receive you. None of our people can receive us. He's right, Aaron. We're too far from home. Then what can we do? I don't know, Aaron. I have... Hey! Hey, you mice! Why don't you ever talk with each other? Huh? Answer me! I don't like people who don't talk. I don't trust them. We do talk together, sir but in a different way. How dare you lie to me, Warlord Brack? Have you ever heard them talk with each other? No, no. Come over here, all three of you. You pimples, you spots, come over here quick. We have decided what to do with you. The computer says that those kids can mentally communicate for a distance of five kilometers. All right. We know they have to be close by. You two sit tight. Come on, Adam. decided to sell you as slaves, all of you. You're of no use to me. What do you say to that? 
Could we have a little food? Food? What have you done to earn the food? Nothing. I should have sold you as a slave long before this. We've been too kind to you as it is. Go on back. Go back to where you were. Go on! Thief! You dare take our food to you? Well, I'll see that you never take anything again. Grab them! See anything? No. I know you, you dressed up donkey. You interfered in my business before! We meet again, Warlord Brack. I see you're still up to your same old tricks. That boy is mine, and all his friends. I captured them. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Let's get him. <laughs> you blonde barbarian! You're beginning to irritate me! Scanner shows he's not hurt, just hungry. He'll be starved when he wakes up. Do you think he's one of those kids we're looking for? Yes, he. Come here. Watch this. I'm gonna turn off this digital computer. Now I lock onto the theta waves his brain is sending. Watch those numbers. That's him doing it now. Brain impulses. Huh. Ruth, you stay with him. Samuel, you and Adam come with me. Warlord Brack captured all three of them. Let's head for the camp. Where is your little brother? I'll tell you. Captured, that's where he is. And if you think we're bad, I shake to think what will happen to him with those other people. <laughs> Caleb, we have to find Aaron. Help me, Bina. But you're a speaker. 
My friend Caleb says speakers are too mean to receive us. Well, maybe you're meeting the wrong speakers. Hey, you hungry? If you press that button, the red one there, you can have anything you like. This is the kitchen. What do you wish to eat? Meat and potatoes. I was just thinking that you have a terrific advantage. We speakers can't talk with our mouths full. Speaker. You don't seem to like speakers. Not very much. The ones I've met so far have been cruel. My friend Caleb hates them. All of them? He might like you. You're nice. Thank you. Aaron? Caleb, is Bina with you? Yes. Where are you? Very close by. Hold on to something, Aaron. Bina and I are going to move the vehicle closer to us. I will bring the vehicle to a stop. Erin, tell the speaker we want her machine. She can receive you, Caleb. You tell her. Why do you want it, Caleb? So we can use it to find our way home. R2 to Romer. R2 to Romer. Come in, Romer. What is it, Ruth? Jonah, you'd better get back fast. Erin's friend is trying to take over the Ark. How can he do that? Jonah, don't ask me how. He's doing it. We're on our way. Aaron, you better leave now. If your friend keeps this up, you might get hurt. You and Caleb going to keep it up, Bina? We want that machine. Wait for the little one. Romer to R2. Romer to R2. Ruth, are you okay? So far. Please don't hurt her, Caleb. She's not like the speakers who captured us. She is good. We don't want to hurt her. We want to force her out. How much damage is there, Ruth? I can't tell yet, but the air conditioning's out. did it, Sam. You're a genius. <coughs> but I'm going to need some fresh air pretty soon. <coughs> I have been shut out. The warlords! That way, that will help us.
Adam, hand me the laser. It's wise of you not to interfere this time. If you want those children, I'll sell them to you as slaves after I catch them. Come back here before I lose my temper. As for you, you haven't seen the last of Warlord Brack. We'll get the kids later. Now, Ruth, you can deactivate the force field. <laughs> it won't go off, Jonah. Maybe the remote switch will work. No good. I don't see Ruth. She must be inside the machine. Ruth! Ruth! Hi, Aaron. <laughs> What's the matter, Ruth? She's in danger. We have to help her. I won't go near speakers. There's no trusting them. They helped us. Now she's in danger because of us. We have to help her. No. I'm ashamed of you. Aaron, come back here. Come back. Ruth, get down as low as you possibly can. Any lower and I'll be part of the floor. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, when I say three, let's all push our off switch at the same time. You two, Adam. One, two, three. That's as much as we can raise it, Jonah. Well, let's test it. See if there's room to crawl under. Steady. You can't depend. We're gonna have to hold on. We've still got problems with the force field. I know you guys are <coughs> are doing the best you can. I'm gonna try it. Jonah, you can't. Somebody has to. I'm going in. Captain Jonas. Caleb and Vito want to help you. If you let them, they will. Now, why don't you three just stay out of this, OK? Jonah, listen to them. Maybe they can help. You can trust us, sir. We're sorry for what we did. I'm going to rely on the instruments, Ruth. I wish you wouldn't, Jonah. If we're going to put our lives on the line, I'd rely on Aaron and his friends any day. Ruth, can you read me? Ruth! Do you think you can really do it? You're going to have to keep that force field up until I can get Ruth out.
gonna be okay. I'm grateful to you, to all of you. Thanks. Oh, you can let the force field down now. We'll keep it up if you wish to go in and make repairs. Well, can you do it? Well, then keep it up. The sooner we make those repairs, the sooner you get back to your parents. Log, entry 37. These children are members of a group that keeps to itself. I do not know why they were given the special powers they have. I do know that one day they will come out into the world where they will be a strong force for good or evil. I hope that then they will remember the kindness they found and not the cruelty.